things of concern that an era CV should not contain. So any tips about that? Some era CVs that I've seen, the applicant, they write a very, very lengthy description like, okay, you know, you did a one month say, observership. They'll write uh, some of that will, uh, will be quite a repetition. So for example, you know, when you fill out this work experience about an observership, you need to say, you, you need to like fill out the form and say, whom did you do that with? Where did you do it? And so forth. And in the description, you know, they would write, I shadowed Dr. So-and-so at so-and-so hospital in the month of this, which is not needed because you already described that earlier when you were filling out the form. But, and, you know, the focus should be on, again, talking about what were the few special things that you learned and that you gained in that observership. For example, you, you can talk about what EMR, electronic medical record, was used because that's very key nowadays if you did any presentations or literature search and so forth, you know, describe that, putting the, that kind of a description is needed. Just adding a lot of information, making it a very bulky paragraph, no one's going to read it. It's, it's going to be a waste of your time and effort to do that. So keeping it short is very important. You know, I call it ac ABC, the accuracy, brevity and clarity. So th that's how you have to do the descriptions. So avoid complex words, avoid, avoid very lengthy, wordy sentences, and try to keep it interesting. Again, for example, hobbies, you know, so I've seen some applications where the applicant would write uh, as a hobby, I like listening to music, you know, that very uninteresting. So you have to give a little bit more description. I like to listen to whatever, you know, Western pop, rock, or something like that. My favorite, I like to read books of this century, and these are my favorite authors. So this is how you would connect with the interviewer.